Hey, what's up, day walkers and fellow travelers of the night and all you Spartans out there. Welcome back to another episode of our Jazzwares Vault Purchases. This is episode two, and this is the second item that we got off their website that is now exclusive to them. It's going to be like a direct-to-consumer thing because these figures were really hard to find over the last like year, year and a half for me. So I missed out on series five and six completely of these World of Halo figures. So I'm so glad that they heard that and they decided to do something like this to re-release them and get them out there to people who did miss out on them. And I hope they do more of them. And the only way to get them to do more is if you purchase and support them. So I had to buy one of these. I'll put a link down below if you want to. If you get to the end of this video and you like what you see, definitely pick one of these box sets up. Look at this set. This is called the Big Shot Battle Pack. And in here you have Sergeant Johnson, ODST, Master Chief, and that's his Halo 2 armor which I was missing. I didn't have that one. So now that is completed as well. You have the Arbiter, which I don't have the regular version of this figure or the Halo 3 version um, from Halo 2 or 3. So I'm glad I at least get a translucent version and hopefully I'll track down one of the other ones where you can actually see him in, uh, you know, in the future, near future. We also got Spartan Lock. He's from Series 5, I believe, of or maybe Series 6, along with Spartan Buck as well. So these are some Halo 5 characters. And I love that they did Buck. I, he's such a great character, played by Nathan Fillion. Awesome, awesome, and here's the back, so you can kind of see them in all their glory, although this is a really cool, you know, image too, just seeing all the figures in there. This is really awesome, and I've heard a lot of praise for this figure here. I missed out on him. I'm a big ODST guy, as you can see, and uh, and so when I heard this figure was coming out, I was really bummed that I missed him. I did get the rookie, even though it's not an exact same figure. I heard the, you know, articulation, everything on him is a little bit better, but I did get the rookie with his drop pod. I found that online. That was from series six. And again, just more things I never saw in the store and I had to purchase online. And luckily that one though, I got for regular price for 20 bucks, which I think is what it cost in stores. All right. So without further ado, let's open these guys up and give our thoughts on each individual figure and show them off. So we're going to quickly start off with Spartan lock here. Really nice detail on this figure. I think they touched him up maybe a little bit from the series that he was in before. I don't think too, too much though, but he looks good. And to be fair, I never got to see the you know, previous figure up close. So I only go off of images, sadly. So who knows, this could be identical, but even so, whether they touch it up or not, I'm just glad to have it. I actually like Spartan Lock. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Halo 5. It's certainly not in my, you know, high list of praise for that series. Um, but it is fun to play at times, especially when you do co-op and this character I like, you know, um, he's an interesting guy and I like seeing his backstory in the Nightfall movie. So, uh, and I like the actor who plays him obviously, cause I'm a Luke Cage fan too. So yeah, really cool. They did a good job and he's got his weapon here, um, that you can obviously have in his hand or both hands, either hand can carry it. And there's no loose, well, maybe a little bit on this leg, a little loose there, but for the most part, he stands really well. So we're going to go ahead and prop him up and have him now that I've kind of just showed him off. These guys all bend and articulate the same way. They got the elbows and the shoulders. So I'm not going to do too much of that. I just kind of want to look at these figures. My main goal here was just kind of open them up so I can start putting them on the shelf. And I love this backdrop they came with. I thought they did a good job with that too. So yeah, there you go. Spartan Lock is there. Um, next up, we're going to check out this ODST because I've heard so much about him. And I got to say, really nice. Like he's his arms, everything locks into place really good wherever you position them. There's nothing loose on the figure at all as far as joints go. And uh, he's everything bends. I didn't have to put him in hot water or anything to loosen him up, even though he feels rigid. He's uh, it's it's like kind of the perfect figure in a way. As, as, out of all the Halo Jazzwear stuff, I got to say his articulation and his movement and mobility and everything um, and the way he locks into place, this is all really, really good. Uh, this is some of the best I've seen out of this uh, this whole series that, that Jazzwares has done. So really cool. I'm glad we get them. I can add them to my ODST uh, rookie you know, set that I have with the drop pod and how easily he stands, which is great. I'm, I miss the base plates. You know, I, I heard that they got rid of those in series five and six, only giving it to figures who absolutely need it, like the skirmisher, I think, in uh, series six. So I, but I miss them. I like them. They lock together. You can build little you know battle scenes out of them and it's it's really, really cool. So then next up, speaking of ODSTs, we have Spartan Buck, who went from an ODST to a Spartan because they just thought, you know what, this guy's awesome and we like working with Nathan Fillion. And I think when it came time to do Halo 5 and they were creating, you know, the the team that's going to be with Spartan Lock and everything, they were like, you know what, let's bring Buck back and, and let's, you know, add some more to his character. And I really liked his dynamic 
with Locke, you know, because Buck was kind of leader-esque in ODST and had leader qualities. But then in here, he's kind of like the second, you know, in command in a way, or kind of wants to be in command and tries to make decisions and kind of has that thing. Not like evil, like Starscream or anything. He respects Locke, but I think he pushes buttons sometimes just to, uh, you know, see if, if Locke really does have what it takes to lead. And every time Locke does, uh, but there is a very loose joint, as you can see, it's uh, the left leg again, just like it was with Locke. So, you know, I don't know if these molds are similar that they used for these guys, but it's it's a shame that the leg of all things is loose. Like when an arm is loose, you're like, oh, okay, an arm is loose. That's fine. I'll, I'll try to deal with it. But trying to get a figure to stand when their legs are loose can be difficult. So I'm not going to mess with them too much. But it looks like both of his legs are a little loose. So I'll just keep them back there for now. And he's standing. That's all that matters to me. And if I need to get him like a base plate, I have plenty of spare ones from some of the sets I bought. Luckily, there was multi-packs that had like 10 base plates in it. And I'm glad they did that because it just gave me an excess of those base plates. And I'm glad I have them. So next up, we have Sergeant Johnson, a really great character. Uh, not Spartan, but still a total badass. And forgive my language for swearing, but he is. He's a great character. And there's no loose joints on him. He's very sturdy, very awesome. And uh, he's got a little thing that I haven't cut off there yet on the hand. So we'll get rid of that real quickly. And there we go. Now he's holding the gun without the help of a little rubber band thing. But yeah, really cool character. I love getting Marines and, and other guys, especially with Halo Infinite. They had a big focus on rescuing squads and, you know, increasing your personal army you could walk around with. They would help you, you know, take over a base or, you know, free other Spartans and free other Marines and stuff. And it was really cool that they added that feature into Halo Infinite. So to get more of these characters that aren't Spartans is awesome, especially a character as cool as Sergeant Johnson. So really awesome. And I'm going to just set him back here and have him hanging out with the other total awesome dudes in this set. All right, next up we have the Arbiter, who I can already tell the leg on him, left leg again, and waist even, very, you know, very loose. Um, and there are ways to fix this kind of stuff. There's especially ways to fix joints that won't bend. And I've had to do that with a couple of the multi-packs, some of those figures like Brutes and stuff, where you have to hold them in hot water for a while so that things can loosen up. Even a couple Spartans, like in their ankle joints and stuff. So, you know, it's loose, but I think he's a pretty sturdy figure, so he should be able to hold up pretty well and i'll be honest i don't know i can't remember if this is a repaint of his halo 2 skin or if it's the halo 3 one i think it's the halo 2 um but uh yeah because the halo 3 one with his armor from halo 3 was only available in the the multi-pack with master chief and the warthog which was a gamestop exclusive which i did have access to buy and i even pre-ordered at one point but then we had some medical bills pop up and so i had to cancel the pre-order so I never did get that one either. So I'm glad to finally have at least a Arbiter here and to have a translucent one because I have a translucent Master Chief and I'm going to put them next to each other when I display them. All right, so he's standing pretty good. You know, kind of have to have him have an awkward arm pose there for a minute to balance him. But yeah, he's looking all right. And then last but not least, we have Master Chief from Halo 2 with the duels. I love this. He's got the duelies going uh, with the, you know, little submachine gun type weapons, the automatics and Man, really, really cool. Just fun. That was uh, the cool thing about Halo 2 was that you could have dual weapons and go around and just with certain ones. You couldn't have like dual shotguns or anything, I don't think. But certain weapons you could do duelies with. And this was really cool that they incorporated that into the toys and have that kind of personality be there. And again, the joints on him are good. He's solid. He doesn't he's no loose joints or anything on him. So I'm really happy with how he came out and the look of him. And he's distinct, you know. It's mostly a similar figure as the other Master Chiefs, but the paint jobs on them, they do a great enough job with the visor and the type of green they use and how they break up some of the armor and then maybe do different shoulder pieces and stuff at times to kind of separate him so that he does look more like, you know, game accurate. But mainly they go for the colors, which really works here. And this Halo 2 look is fantastic. And I'm glad because so now I think I have Halo 1, 2, and I don't, and three Master Chief? I can't remember if I have the, the third one or not. Um, but then we have four now because of the last video, and we're missing five, and we have, definitely have some infinite Master Chiefs. So there's a chance I might be missing five and three, but I'll have to go back and look through. And I have the, you know, the translucent one too. So, um, so yeah, that should complete my set. I just got to track down those other ones. So 
Well, I want to know what you guys think. Are you a collector of this series? You know, I don't know if too many of you watched that last episode. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in this episode. If you didn't, you can always go back and check out the previous episode where we looked at the Halo 4 Master Chief. But I'm really happy that, you know, that Jazzwares is doing this and that they're trying at least to keep this series going and this franchise going that they have because they're doing a great job from the Master Chief or the Spartan Collection, the six inch figures to the Titan heroes, the taller ones, and then to these, like they're doing just an awesome job. And I'm so glad we're starting to get into Halo 5 characters and different versions of Chief. We got all the different armors now and more human characters and ODSTs. Like, and I just want to see, like, I want another box set like this with Atriox in it and a couple like other villains, maybe some, some characters like Bassus who hasn't been made yet, I think, into a figure from Halo Infinite and do some other characters that we might have missed on from Series 6. I would love that, too. Um, so, yeah, please, Jazzwares, if this sells well, please make another box set and do villains on the next one. I would love to see that. I don't want to see, like, you know, Atriox and Eshiram and all those guys because, you know, those were in Series 1 through 4, and most of us got those figures. Um, but, again, if you do that for people who didn't, you know, started collecting later, that's fine, too. I'll still buy it for Atriox because a $50 box set, I'd rather spend and get Atriox and other characters then spend 50 or $60 for Atriox by himself on eBay or Amazon. So I'm going to hold out and wait and pray that they make another box set and put Atriox in it because he's the only villain that they've made from Halo Infinite that I'm missing. So let me know what you think down below. Are you missing any of the figures from the set? Is this going to help you complete a set you missed like it did for me? Let me know down below and we'll keep talking down there. And again, the link to Jazzwares Vault website is down below if you want to pick one of these up. Only $50, which I think is an absolute steal to get all six of these awesome badass characters. So yeah, go pick one up Spartans. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the future. Peace.